Wow, you got it, Brad. Mm. Very good. Mm. Very good. Very good. Mm. Mammy. I guess only those living in Finland knows. Rye dough butter. Be, butter. No. <laughs> I guess rye porridge, but. Uh, very. Easter. Easter tradition, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's eaten with cream and a little bit of sugar. And it looks like this. Mm. And people mistake it for chocolate and eat it. It's and, definitely uh, not chocolate. Get a brain freeze or something, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's melted bread. It's like when you think you're you think you're gonna drink a cup of water, but it's some something else. Uh, you get get a shock, I guess. And when people see this and eat it <laughs> and think it's chocolate, can I have more? Have you? Have you got more? Bird. You're gonna get your own memo. Now we should have an open tuning. <laughs> Akta, hör du? Kom bort därifrån nu. Hur mycket vatten har du i stövlarna nu? Inga alls. Inga alls? Det vet jag inte om jag tror på. Så där höga stövlar har du inte. <laughs> Eager much? Mm. Eager much? <laughs> What date is it today? 16th? 16th, 16th of April. April. And it's still more than knee deep. Hey, <laughs> Malva. Boys, and visit from from my brother's fiance's family, grandmother, aunt, and sister from Ecuador. They think it's cold. 
and we think it's warm. <laughs> Well, the snow has started to melt away, mm. finally, but it's pretty cold. Yeah. So it's only two plus degrees now and mm. minus in the night. Half of April has already gone, Easter has been, mm. and your brother was on a visit mm. with his extended family. Yeah, our extended family yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. His fiance's uh, grandma and aunt and yeah. sister from Ecuador so long distance travels yeah mm. that was nice they had never seen snow before so <laughs> <laughs> and the trampoline arrived yeah he is happily bouncing away yeah. on yeah. it it's a monstrosity <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't know where we have <laughs> should keep it <laughs> no. that's one of the negative things with those they are not so beautiful <laughs> But I really look forward to to jump on it mm. with with Ivar. Maybe we can uh, hide it in some branches of. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for everyone who chimed in to get Ivar this birthday present. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm. He's so happy with it. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yesterday we moved the sheep to the last place before the grazing season starts. Mm. So they have a place you now with only two hay bales left. They were very happy when we started to put up uh, fences. Mm. They e knew the drill. <laughs> e eager to get to some uh. new pastures. <laughs> and it was as boring <laughs> as their previous one. Mm. So uh. I guess they felt cheated. <laughs> yeah, a couple of weeks more of waiting mm. for them. But some some green has started to show, show yeah. so... There is less snow in the village, two mm. kilometers from here. Mm. So where, where the sheep are. So now we just put them in a, in a place so that the 
the grass doesn't get stressed in the beginning of the mm. of the season. I guess they have munched down every little sign of green. On, on the place they yeah. were, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna talk about this in, I guess, the next video or something like that. I've been thinking of doing a, a video about regenerative aspects in in snowy climates, let's say. Winter the, time. the winter time aspects. Mm. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. And so now today we are going to get some material. Your mother is eager to start beekeeping. We sent her to a course last summer and now she is going to teach us uh, mm. what she learned. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yes. we are building the hives. Mm. These kind of uh, top bar hives mm. is is the one we are focusing on right mm. now. So that feels real mm. fun. Uh, and also the chickens, we are trying to train them to accept the chicken tractor and they need to <laughs> quickly accept it now. <laughs> I've started to put up some chicken nets here, flexi nets, which uh, they are going to have electricity in them uh, but here <laughs> they will uh, for sure not go into the chicken tractor they will most likely fly over this and go straight to the coop <laughs> since they are at home here and they know where they usually sleep so my idea here is that I'm going to try to to put a uh, double layer of chicken fencing like this so it's a little bit higher <laughs> with just with some straps or something i don't know <laughs> we'll see how this goes so now we're going to go to the nearest village and get some boards or material for the the beehive and also at the same time collect some mail Them. I have no idea what that is. Let's go home. Mm. Evening is already approaching. Tova is inside making some dinner and me and Ivar is going to try to make this chicken net two stories. Får man sen sätta en snör till björken där kanske? Till den där? Den där? Så står vi närmast. Ska du ha en kvinnstrapp? Eller? Det verkar funka. Ja, det vet jag inte. Seems to work. Hur många har du tagit? 
Here it's working. I just need to tie some some small rope to the tree, and we've got much higher fence. This is insanity, <laughs> but I really want to not struggle when teaching them to respect the fence. I don't know if this is worth all the work or not. We'll see. Oh, Look at this. Yeah, well, at least I'm having fun. I guess my regenerative chicken friends will have a good laugh at this as well. Yeah, I feel confident that this will help them learn to respect the, the fence with less work on my side to gather them in, to gather them in and and throw them in again why i'm in such a hurry to get them out of there is that this year i have a lot of more chickens there so the chicken coop and the yard is is uh, messy a lot more messier than than before than previous years so to speak the problem here is that we still got a meter of snow so i'm very confined in where I can take the chicken coop or chicken tractor. I would have liked to to take them all the way on the other side to the other side of this field here but that's not possible now maybe in a month or so. <laughs> Why that would be a solution is that then maybe they would be so far from their home that they really don't know which direction they need to jump over the fence to get home. I don't know. That's my guess at least. When we are now where they are used to be, they will just have the habit to go to the coop in the evening. And so a fence will not be in the way for that. Another solution for me would be to, to just take them up to the village, to the place where I really want them to be. Scratching away moss from the fields, I eventually want to take winter feed for the sheep from. But I guess I'm too chicken to take them up to the village and as, as my first experience, I don't really want to deal with a, a, a chicken flock on the loose in the village with nowhere for them to really feel like home and so on. So. I want to make sure that this will keep them in place. Uh, most of my regenerative chicken friends have some kind of more industrial breed on their chickens. So I guess they are also able to jump over the fence. but it feels like they are less likely to do so than the heritage breed that we have. I know they can fly uh, fly over this if they want to. So tonight we are going to close them in into the chicken coop, the chicken tractor, and move them here. And I guess I will set up an alarm clock early in the morning and see how it goes. <laughs> So we were supposed to prepare for sharing some sheep tomorrow. But the day is coming to an end. Maybe you go up and do that. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to get them out by myself from the from you share them, mean? shed. of things. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. Uh, we decided to go off to the village to get uh, the sheep handling fences out in place so that maybe tomorrow we will start sharing the sheep and we need to get that done quickly now so Ivar's bedtime will not become too late. It's late, it's getting dark. We encountered some problems. We have access to a, a old ATV that Tova's brother fixed up last summer. So yesterday I had it out for the first time and today <laughs> the battery was dead. I was supposed to go with the sheep handling metal fences to, to the place where we're gonna share the sheep but yeah so now i'm back here i've fixed the last things with the with the uh, chicken fencing here and yeah i was also supposed to take the atv down here so we could go with the chicken coop down this uh, hill from with uh, beside the house i'm not sure we can handled <laughs> all those down this hill but I guess we just have to try <laughs> if we can't handle this hill then it's going to be a little bit harder up in the village I guess but I guess in the village we could uh, go across the hill <laughs> and and choose to not go straight down at least <laughs> We also encountered a, a troublesome problem. All the eggs were e eaten up by the chickens today. And that's not really good. But I think they are not too happy with the situation right now. Too cramped and, and not so nice in the chicken coop. And we need to get the sloping egg laying place so that the eggs roll away after they laid them there. The hard thing is it should not roll away too fast. Then they're gonna, gonna get crushed against each other. Yep. Some trial and error here. It's working. I think the balance became perfect. It's barely front heavy at all. And so there I don't have the battery in the front and there's also going to be the water 
in the front so <laughs> hopefully the wheels will hold up <laughs> and I can move it by hand mm, it's a little bit heavy but then again I have also made this hook thing in the front so you can use an ATV or a tractor or a car or whatever but it was possible to move it by hand with all the chickens inside that's nice as long as the ground is not too bumpy well let's see if we can get it down this slope <laughs> without crashing and everything goes to shit Well, it went sort of well. The ice and all the things on the ground here made the ride very bumpy. <laughs> Many of them fell off the roosts. I'm gonna let them calm down a little bit and then I'm gonna go there and, and put them back on the roosts. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. I need to program the hatch as well. Long days, long days. Good morning. Only one rooster has found his way out. I have no idea what they are doing in there. Are they still sitting on their roosts or... Because the hatch is obvious. If they have jumped down on the floor then... <laughs> the hatch is very obvious.
This transition is rough. Seems like they didn't understand the hatch at all. And two of them had let, let their eggs go directly from the roosts. Hmm. It's always this trial and error. If I didn't know that people do this and it works very well, uh, I don't know how I could, could trust this process. I decided to open the big hatch now. <coughs> I don't really know how I'm how I'm gonna teach them the small door, <laughs> but I guess time will tell. It is very nice to see them not having to to walk in their own shit in the <laughs> chicken coop so we need to get this to work this is so much better than to have the stationary chicken coop although we have them free roaming from the chicken coop most of the time always when we are home but every time we are not home and every time we are leaving from home we cannot let them out because we don't dare to leave them here because of the fox and other predators and also in the fall there is several weeks of of moose hunting going on here and there is a lot of dogs hunting dogs running around free in in these forests and every now and then they visit us. So at that time there are several weeks where they are only in the coop. Skarvin också. Nu är det där blir vi smutsigt. Nu är det bra för sådär. Oj, där har de läckt ett ägg. Ja, där var ett ägg nu. Här är tuppen. Tuppen ägg, eller? Störde jag dig? Här är det. Vad rinner? Vi ska se om vi hittar någon ägg här då. Ja, vad fint vatten där då. Ja, this is a problem. You cannot use the water system on the on the wagon yet since it's minus degrees freezing temperatures in the night No, they have collected the eggs here Have they collected the eggs? They have collected the eggs here Look at it Look at it No eggs laying around of bread. What is that? <laughs> Fresh from the sauna. It was a really nice sauna today with some sun as well. Today we have been watching these very closely and I've been and I've been going here every quarter to half an hour and checking if they've laid any eggs. And then I've been uh, rolling them away into the 
to the place where they're supposed to roll by themselves. I have some clay eggs there to make them want to lay the eggs there. And we also have some straw there that is not supposed to be there. In the hopes of them accepting the, the place to lay eggs on. There is no really good place here <laughs> or otherwise to lay eggs. So, so I guess it's the best over there. Papa. Um, kanske, um, kanske de vill gå där de där, de där står. Mm -hmm. Kanske de vill gå. Mm, kanske... Så ut som det. Ja, det är därför jag flyttar den dit. Mm. Det blir nog bra det. Mm, det blev jättebra. Mm. It is time to make some dinner. Och jag tror att vi ska byta vatten här. Ja, ah, de får ha det sådär nu. Är det ingen el? Nej, ah, inte där. Varför är det ingen el här på? Det är inga djur här inne. Var? Vad var det här? Tomma. Mm -hmm. In the spring when it's cold in the night the snow forms a crust and then in the day the crust melts and the fencing is falling down so the rams escapes. If we don't have a fence they can walk on the crust in the morning wherever and then in the day they have troubles getting back to their house. It's nine o'clock. And it seems like like the chickens have gone to bed. Some of them are laying inside on the floor. I think just three of them. The rest have have uh, found their way to the roosts. Now I just need to see how I can help them learn the hatch, the small hatch that I have underneath. not supposed to be here only this one but we put it there so that <coughs> they maybe would choose this place instead of laying the eggs out wherever These are clay, clay eggs. This is gold, especially now, very soon when they get to eat green grass as well. Yeah,
it's chilly again let's see if there is some chicken around here who has escaped see any chickens it has definitely not been a walk in the park <laughs> to transfer them over to that small space but I I think it will work as long as the tires will hold up <laughs> yeah well good night Ja, ta den röda där. Ja. Kan jag lägga den på marken? Ja. Jag kan lägga ner den på marken fast det I think it will be good, as you said, uh, to cover almost the hole and leave a, a hole for them. So the egg there. Inte i. Jag försökte titta upp. De poop on me. How many eggs were there? Twelve. There's still someone who, who eats, or eats or keeps shut. It is evening, we have eaten dinner and some of the birds have already gone to roost. More is still here. <laughs> we'll need to keep an eye on them now this evening and see if they try to get through the fencing or so they can go back to the coop and sleep. Den där var pinnan. Den där pinnan. Mm. Bankar på. That is one who wants to go home and sleep in the old coop. Me and Ivar is going to go to the village and uh, put the the sorting fences for the sheep in place before Eva's bedtime. This video already became too long, so there's gonna be a cliffhanger for you. <laughs> and I just want to thank all those who contributed for the trampoline for Ivar. He really enjoys it and want to bounce on it all the time. <laughs> and gets annoyed when the weather does not allow for it. Also, thank you for all the patrons who support the creation of these videos. This would not be possible without you. If you value what we do here and the work with these videos, then there is a possibility to support us on our Patreon page. The link is in the description. So in the next video you probably will <laughs> see if the adventure with the chicken coop 
on wheels uh, did work out or not. Well, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.